Hey everyone and welcome back. Wanted to do a video on the new Scream Factory announcements. I believe these are all coming out in May. A couple of them have been rumored for a while, but uh, still it's nice to actually get the official announcement. First up is the Oliver Stone film, The Hand, starring Michael Caine. Yes, Oliver Stone did make a horror film. I think it's the first film he actually ever directed. Now the extras have not been announced yet, but it, they did say that it is going to actually have a new HD transfer, and that is set for May 25th. Next up is another film also from 1981. One, and that is Eyes of a Stranger, starring Jennifer Jason Lee, and actually features uh, special effects by Tom Savini. Same thing, extras have not been announced yet, but it is going to have a new transfer, and that one is coming May 18th. Next up is the Armand Mastriani film, He Knows You're Alone. This is definitely one that has been uh, asked about plenty of times. Probably also famous because it actually features, uh, I think, one of the first appearances of a very young Tom Hanks. And same thing, uh, extras have not been announced yet, but it is getting a brand new transfer, and that one is due out May 18th. A little trivia about Armand Mastriani. Uh, so when William Lustig was getting ready to make uh, Maniac Cop, he actually hadn't directed a film since he did Vigilante several years prior. So he was kind of nervous and he uh, asked Armand Mastriani to come over and sort of help him block uh, one of the scenes. So when you block a scene, basically what you do is you sort of figure out ahead of time like where the actors are going to be and where you want to set up the camera. And you kind of walk through the scene. So, you know, the actors, especially if they're moving around, like they start here, they go there. So you're going to want to set the camera up here, here, and here, and here. It's a technical process, but you know, it can be a little overwhelming if you haven't done it in a while because you do also uh, sort of second guess yourself. So just a little bit of trivia for you there. And then finally, the last announcement is the 1976 King Kong. Unlike the other announcements, this one is actually going to be one of their collector's editions. So, you know, if you order it from them, you'll get the poster that'll have the new artwork. It will be a two disc set. And while specific extras are going to be announced later on, they did say there's actually going to be two cuts of the film. The original theatrical cut and the longer TV version and that is set for May 11th and then finally Screen Factory is doing one of their Valentine's sales as they do every year usually lasts I believe it's about a week and they have a lot of good titles on sale I already grabbed a couple of myself so definitely head on over and check those out a few I've been meaning to get so I definitely wanted to go ahead and get them including April Fool's Day I was like didn't I get April Fool's Day last year and I was like no it's on sale so I grabbed it and I can't remember if I announced this in a previous video or not but but Blue Underground obviously has announced that they are doing a 4K release of Dead and Buried. And the set is going to have the 4K disc, the Blu-ray, and the CD soundtrack. And it is actually going to have uh, the lenticular covers. They sort of announced that, much like they did with Zombie, it sounds like it's good. there's going to actually be a couple different options. In Zombie 1, I think it had three different cover uh, options you could choose from. So I don't know if there's going to have three or not, uh, but they definitely will have one, it looks like, at least of the original poster artwork. And I don't think there's a release date for that one yet. I think it's just set for later this year. I also want to say real quick that Kino is releasing a lot of Code Red titles. Now they released a couple in the past, but they're actually releasing, it looks like a majority of the library from Code Red. They partnered up and the great thing about this is the fact that a lot of these older titles have been long out of print and you know, they've been very expensive to try and find them. And a lot of them were even hard to find when, even when they came out. So it's a good way to uh, get a lot of Code Red titles, especially ones that have been out of print for a very long time. And in fact, just found out that the original pressing of Savage Streets, which is a film I really love. That one has already sold out. So, you know, they'd have to go back and press more. But oh, another th nice thing is that to my knowledge, none of these are limited, like the original releases were. And also you'd be able to get them, you know, through I think some regular outlets. I don't think I mentioned that before. So I did want to kind of throw that out there. I know there's a lot more news to get to. Uh, it looks like announcements are kind of starting to come through. So just want to kind of catch up on everything. But wanted to let you know about the Scream Factory titles. So definitely let me know your thoughts. And if you're planning to get anything from the sale, and as always, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.